this video will complement this blog post on drawing a site plan with a free alternative to AutoCAD. So if you are running on a low budget and you really need to plot <coughs> some survey data, then this uh, video will help you. So the software we are going to use is called Draft Site. So Draft Site has a free version of the software that you can use, just like the AutoCAD, to plot bearings and distances, or coordinates, or virtually any kind of uh, survey measurement. So first thing first is to get a copy of the draft site. So when you go to Google, you can just search draft site download and you should be able to get to the download page to get a copy. So at the moment, the version of the draft site 2018 is located on this URL. Here you need to download the version for your operating system. So I have downloaded my version and then you need to double click on the version you downloaded to install it. So on this uh, blog page, I have detailed instruction on how to install the software and also to activate it. So when you run it, you need to select the free option. Click on next. Just follow the screen guide to get it installed. So at the very end, you need to activate it. So when you launch the software for the first time, during the installation, sorry, you need to fill you will fill a form where you are going to provide your email and some other details. So an activation link will be sent to the email in which it will look something like this when you open it. Then you need to click on the activation link to activate uh, the software. So after successfully activating the draft site version, you have installed on your system. When you launch it, the interface will look something similar to this, which is exactly what I have here after the installation process. So all I need to do is open it and then I have uh, something like this which look something like uh, the AutoCAD environment. So this is a free version with limited features but it is good enough for us to plot our survey drawing. So the survey drawing we are going to plot is actually this which is the reconnaissance as a survey diagram. In this case, this plot of land was surveyed using compass and uh, tape. So from point one, we observed the bearings and the distances to point two. Then point two to point three, the bearing and the distances were also observed. Point three to four was also observed. Then point four back to point one. The distances and the bearings was observed. So this is actually a perfect uh, square. The plot is 30 by 30 meters on both on either side of the square. And then from point one to point two, we have 102 as the bearing, as I've listed here. 102 as the bearing. Then point two, point two, point three, you have a uh, 191 as the bearing and then the distance is 30 meter. Point 0.3 to point 0.4 we have a 282 as the bearing and then the distance is 30 meter. Then point 0.4 back to point 0.1 we have 11 degrees as the bearing then 30 meter as the distance between them. So let's go back to draft site and then plot this uh, survey. So the first thing we are going to do here is to save the drawing environment. Here I have created 
a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to copy the path, then go back to draft site, click on the save button, navigate to the project folder, give the file a name. I'm going to call it site plan. Site plan 001. Then the savers type, there are a couple of file types you can choose from, including S3 shape file. That is if you are going to open this drawing in a GIS environment. So I'm going to use .dwg, which is an AutoCAD drawing file. So type in your name, type in the file name you want, and then click on save. So here I have my drawing environment, drawing file saved. Now coming back to draft site, the next thing you need to do is to set your settings. If I go back to our Ricky diagram, you see that the bearing between point one and point two is one o two, as it is clearly stated here, and the distance between them is thirty meters. So I know that my linear measurements are in meters, and then my angular measurements are bearings, and bearings are measured from the north direction in clockwise direction to the line of sight. That is, this is the knot. So the angle between the knot pole and the reference line is actually the bearing. And we use compass to measure them. So with this information at hand, I will go back to my draft site and then set the settings so that the draft site drawing environment will now recognize my survey measurement. So by default, the settings are not set to suit survey measurement. So we need to go and adjust that. You can do that by going to the Manage tab, then click on Units. Or you can simply type on the command line, you type Options, Options with S, then hit Enter. It will take you to the same dialog window. So make sure you are under drawing settings. So click on this button, then look for unit system, expand it. And then here you need to set the base angle. The base angle starts from the north, which is here. So in this case, 90 is the north in draft site. So you need to select this option so that your angle will start measurement from the north direction from the north pole or from the 90 degrees of draft site then our angles are measured in clockwise direction so you need to select this option then we know that our linear measurements are in meters not inches so you need to select the correct unit format so here is meters then i know that <clears throat> the length the length type is of course in decimal unit then the precision is of course to no decimal point as you can clearly see it here it's 30 meter 30 meter 30 meter there's no decimal point so i don't need to include the precision so the precision i can set it to zero but if your measurement has decimal unit decimal points you can select the correct decimal precision here then the angles are of course in degree minutes and seconds even though the minutes and the seconds are zero zero so i'm going to select degree minutes and seconds instead of decimal degrees also we use a unit measurement so the angles are the bearings are in degree minutes and seconds then the precision of course is just degree and then the minute part there is no second in this measurement let me go back to the data so here we have degrees and then we have the minute part 
the minute part is zero zero. Even if I didn't include it in the settings, it will still work. So select the correct options here and then click on OK to apply the changes. So as you can see, the preview, this is the format we are going to use to plot the lines of our survey. So here, after, if you're satisfied with your settings here, you just click on OK to apply the changes. You can also click on Save to make sure our changes are saved properly. So I'm going to copy our field uh, measurement into a text editor so that I can easily copy and paste it in draft site while plotting the survey data. So this is the field measurement from point A to point B. These are actually degrees. My text editor is misreading those. So this is, these are the field measurement. Field measurements. These are the field measurements. Then we now need to plot this on draft site. So the format, the format for plotting bearings and distances in AutoCAD or draft site is as follow. Is the plotting format. So the format is usually starting with at symbol, then the distance, the distance, then the less than symbol, then the bearing. So this is the format. So for the first line, point one to point two, is actually going to be. It's actually going to be something like this at the distance which is 30 meter then less than symbol then the degrees the bearing starting with the degrees d for degree then the minute if you have seconds just like that but in the case of our measurement, we don't have all this. We can leave the this part just for demonstration sake, but you can also remove it if you want. So the second set, the second line will be similar, but we just different value for the degree. Of course, the distance is the same. It's only the degree part that is different, which is 191. Then for the second, for the third line, the same thing, the distance is the same 30 meter. Only the bearing is different, which is 282. For the fourth line, instead of 102, we have 11 here. So this is the format for plotting our data. So come back to can go back to draft site. Let's copy this. Go to draft site. So to plot the survey first line, what we need to do is to pick our line. Click on the line command, then click anywhere. Then on the command line, you will now type in the instruction at 30 meters less than than the PRA. Uh, in this format, just the way we have typed it here earlier. You can easily copy this and paste it there. So after entering this information like this, you will now, you will now press the enter button on your keyboard and then the first line will have been drawn for you, just like this. Then go back, copy the second line paste and then hit the enter button then the third line 
which is this. You can copy it or you can just type it manually. At 30 less than 282 degrees 00, zero minute. If you have seconds, all you need to do is to put the just type in the seconds and then the quote double quote mark. So here we have the third line typed correctly. Then press the enter button. So the third line will have been drawn. Then the fourth line, you can easily close it manually or enter the digit. So let's copy it. Come back to draft site, paste, and then enter. So this is the closed shape. Then you can hit enter again to terminate the drawing. So this is our complete uh, plot. You can select everything. Go to move. I'm going to move it a little bit to the top. So if you select <clears throat> the line and check the property, you will see that the first line, the bearing, the angle is 102 degrees, zero second, zero minute. And then the distance is, of course, 30 meters. If you check for the other side, the same thing, 191, which is the second line, 191, this, 191. And then the distance is 30 meters. If you check for the third one, the third one is at 30, 282. The angle, which is the bearing, is 282, and then the distance is 30 meters. The fourth one, too, if you compare it, we have 11, 30. If you check our field measurement, 11, 30, and also what we enter is 11, 30. So it's perfectly done. So what you need to do next is to put the signs that's for the beacons, just the way we have it here on our Ricky diagram, these cycles to indicate the points. And then type in the labels, the point labels. 